it hit right square on, and it just kind of folded one street mount right back, took the tent down. anniversary of the discovery of gold on the Klondike is the occasion for Dawson's biggest celebration. Half the town parades, the other half cheers. The Klondikers marching kazoo band. The girl guides. The Dawson boxing club. The Dawson City Museum. The Diamond Tooth Gerties and Palace Grand Theater float with an assist from the raft crew. Tug of War champion for $50 first prize and a trophy by the Klondike River Lodge. With the help of two friends, the raft crew have survived a half dozen tug of war eliminations. So I'd say before, before and I'm sure not going to lose in front of all these people. I'll tell you that right <laughs> now. <laughs> They're gonna have I don't know if I can have to like drag it. all you guys too, but I ain't losing. Are you ready, Black Mike? Oh, champion? Champions? Ready, challengers, the smoke jumpers? Titan, pull! Jumpers win. It's a cartilage. I need a doctor. I think I need, I'm sure I'm going to need to go to the hospital. It's a cartilage. All right, just look at him. Oh, guys. Yeah, thank you. Oh, man. Nice boy. X-rays of Paul's leg will show nothing is broken, but a ligament is torn. All right. Take me away. Take me away. Gold beckoned the Stampeders to Dawson, but the Yukon River and the promise of adventure beckoned the raft crew still further. Hmm. Are you chewing bubblegum? Not bubblegum. You want some of my snoop? <laughs> we'll see. Their goal? The Eskimo Village Marshall, Alaska, is almost twice the distance they've already traveled. Dear Robin, at last we're recovering from the high life in Dawson. Good food, lazy days, slow thoughts and plenty of conversation when we want it. We're already beginning to wonder when we will lose the warmth of summer. So we make as much of it as we can. Ten days ago, we saw the swath cut through the trees to mark the border into Alaska.
later, we drifted by Calico Bluff in the early morning light. Take a look at this. Today, we noticed signs of someone living in an old roadhouse. We stopped to visit and found a delightful pioneer family who live off of trapping and little farming and fishing. We won't soon forget Dale Ruckles, his Swedish wife Inga, and their children. Fur-bearing animals provide most of the cash income for the family, but the Yukon also provides. It's like a paddle wheel, so we got two baskets. Um, okay, and the current comes down, and the salmon swim upstream into the basket. And when it comes up, like it is right now, they fall into that chute there and slide down the chute into the boxes. That's all it works. How long did it take you to build it? About a week. That's a nice wheel. You did a good job. Wow! <laughs> hey, the big, this big one's wrong. There might be some in the net. What do you grow here? Cabbage. These kinds and that kind. Turnip, broccoli, spinach. How'd you learn to do all this? There's not that much to it. Just plant the seeds. <laughs> <laughs> the Ruckles buy flour, salt, sugar and spices from town once or twice a year. The garden provides vegetables. For meat, they have wild geese and ducks, fish and moose. Why do you want to live out here? Why not? Well, yeah, good, uh, good. You know, just like curiosity, you know, everybody has a reason why they would want to come out here. But why do you, you know, why do you choose to come all the way to here to live out here like this? There's got to be some reason. A reason? Yeah. All you have to do is go to, go to town and you see why. Okay. Get away from all the traffic and no, people's I'm problems. Get away from that. Do you miss what's going on in the world? What's going on in the world? I mean, what does the average person do? They go to the supermarket and they go to well, I know work. A lot of people read newspapers all the time. Oh, I, I listen to the radio. I read books. Yeah, I What can you miss is. Do you get bored? Not very often. Do you ever get lonely? No. 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 I can get more lonely in town than you can out here. A lot of lonely people right in the middle of a big city. Fifty miles downriver from the Ruckles family cabin, the land flattens. In late August, the moon makes a low circuit of the sky. Often fog hangs above the surface of the water and the raft seems suspended in liquid space. Nights are longer now as the sun slides early into the horizon. At night, sometimes there are displays of northern lights, those luminous apparitions of the Arctic sky that have charmed and mystified mankind for thousands of years. On a softly warm summer afternoon, it's nice to share some reading and thoughts. There's a race of men that don't fit in, a race that can't stay still. So they break the hearts of kith and kin, and they roam the world at will. They range the field, and they rove the flood, and they climb the mountain's crest. Theirs is the curse of the gypsy blood, and they don't know how to rest. If they just went straight, they might go far. They are strong and brave and true, but they're always tired of the things that are, and they want the strange and new. And each forgets as he strips and runs with a brilliant, fitful pace, it's the steady, quiet, plodding ones who win in the lifelong race. Ha ha, he's one of the legion lost. He was never meant to win. He's a rolling stone and is bred in the bone. He's a man who won't fit in. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh <-huh. laughs> wonder if that means us. <laughs> 